Hey, Maria. How have you been? I know it feels like I'm contacting you out of the blue. It's been a while, but I hope you still remember me. Ellie, why are you messaging me? Oh, so you still remember me. Good. I was worried you'd forget me. But yes, it's me, Allie. Long time no see. Remember how we used to hang out a lot during high school? How did you get my account? Did somebody tell you? I changed all my contacts after graduation. Hey, hey, aren't you being a bit cold? It's been 10 years since then. I thought you'd be happy to hear from me. I thought we could be friends again. There's a reason I changed all my contacts, Ellie. Yeah, it wasn't easy to reach you after we graduated. You showed up at our high school reunion and I was so happy to see you there. But then you kept ignoring me as if I wasn't there. You're still acting so cold towards me. It hurts, Maria. You get hurt easily considering all the hurtful things you did to me. Oh, so you're being called because you're still holding grudges from what happened way back in high school. It's about the time I stole your boyfriend. Is that it? <laughs> Of course. How could I forget what you did to me? That was a terrible thing to do. So you're still holding grudges about that. That's so funny. Who wouldn't still be mad after such a thing? I studied so hard to go to the same university as my boyfriend. And you had to go and ruin our relationship? My effort paid off and I actually got the acceptance letter from the university. But then you had to go take him away from me on the very same day. I still remember the look on your face. You were jumping in joy telling everyone that you got accepted. And then the next moment, you looked like someone died. It still makes me laugh when I think about that. Too funny. You're sick and twisted, Ellie. How can you laugh when you were the one who did something wrong? I was just minding my own business, working hard to get accepted into university. You knew how hard I was working. And yet you still slept with my boyfriend while I was working my butt off? And he didn't get accepted into the university we were supposed to go to together because he was busy sleeping around with you. In the end, you two went to the same university as if you were meant to be together. That's exactly right. We were meant to be together more than you were meant to be with him. That your look of despair when you found out is ingrained in my mind. After that, you dropped down to your knees. You were so dramatic. Everyone around us was watching you. I can't believe you're still making fun of me about that. By the way, I should tell you one thing. After we got into university, I switched him for a senior who was much hotter. Are you shocked that I threw him away right after you fell into his spear? Thank you for telling me something so pointless. I couldn't care less whatever happened to you two. Anyways, if this is all you wanted to tell me, I'm going to go and block you. Wait! No, hold on. This isn't all that I wanted to tell you. I'm on my way to something I have to go. I don't get why you started messaging me out of nowhere. But please, don't talk to me ever again. Sorry, Andrew, I couldn't pick up the phone because I was in the middle of something. Don't worry about that. What I wanted to say is that I handed in the divorce papers just now. I just wanted to let you know that, so I tried calling you, that's all. I see. Thanks for letting me know. So, I guess this is it? We're divorced? Yeah, my girlfriend is waiting to be with me, so I had to hand in the papers as soon as possible. Sorry if that upset you. I know. I don't mind. I'm sorry I ended up messing up your life. I kept messing up in our relationship, and I feel bad about that. I'm really sorry. I'll learn from the mistakes I made with you and be a better person for my girlfriend. Thank you for agreeing to get divorced. No worries. It was something that had to be done. There was no point in even trying to keep you when you already have someone more important in your life. I had to let you go. There was not much else that I could do. Thanks. Really. I appreciate how understanding you're being. I would have understood if you were angry with me and tried to make things difficult. But you didn't. Thanks for being supportive until the end. There's just one thing I want to check with you. Can't you tell me who this girlfriend you're leaving me for is? Can I know even just a little bit about her? Sorry, that I can't do. I won't tell you no matter how many times you ask. I don't think you'd do anything bad to her or anything like that. But I just want to protect her in any way I can. 
I don't want any trouble between you two. It was all my fault that we ended up getting divorced. It was me who liked her first. She didn't do anything wrong. You should blame me, not her. All right, I get it. I didn't mean to trouble you by asking you about her. It was just out of curiosity. Instead of telling me about her, you decided to give me a lot more than just half of the assets. I appreciate you did that for me, so I'll respect your decision. Thanks for respecting my decision. That was the least I could do. Anyways, we're living together starting today, so I have to go now. Thanks for everything, Maria. I wish you well. Hey, you! Why won't you reply to my messages? You're so mean and cold. Is it so hard to set a minute aside to reply to me? I've been waiting patiently for you because you told me you were busy. I'm sure you're already done with whatever thing you had to do by now. How come you never message me? I haven't been messaging you because I don't want anything to do with you anymore. I told you I still had more to tell you, didn't I? Don't just end things with me without me knowing. I'm not done with you yet. What is it with you? Really? Just leave me alone. I'm too busy to be dealing with you. Yeah, right. You're busy every single minute of the day. Give me a break. What else could you be doing other than making dinner for your husband? I heard you're married. I overheard you talking at the high school reunion. You stalker. I try to stay far away from you as much as possible during the reunion. You really aren't going to leave me alone, are you? <laughs> you can't escape from me. I'm around even when you think I'm not. So you make dinner for your husband every night and you only make his favorites. You're being such a good wife. Your husband must be so happy to be married to you. Oh, oops. I mean... He was happy to be married to you. I guess you won't have to cook for him tonight. Um, how did you find out that I just got divorced? You're freaking me out. Have you been stalking me this whole time? Don't be silly. I might eavesdrop in your conversations, but I don't have the time to be stalking you all the time. Then how come I know about your divorce? Well, that's because your husband is having dinner with me tonight. Huh? What do you mean by that? You're making me laugh. I told you I had more to tell you, but you wouldn't reply to me. I'm his girlfriend. I'm the one who he fell in love with so much that he decided to divorce you. Can I ask you why you did that? Why did you decide to go out with him? Well, aren't you taking this pretty well? I thought you'd be so shocked and falling to your knees in despair like you did the last time I stole your man. Sorry, not this time. Your husband cheated on you with me. Why aren't you shocked? Oh, this isn't fun. I wanted you to go nuts. Sorry to disappoint you. Anyway, you're saying you stole my husband just like you stole my boyfriend years ago? Why? Or are you just trying to look like you're not bothered even though you really are? Or maybe you're so shocked that your mind is going blank and don't know how to react? Is that it? Is that what's going on with you? Can you just please answer my question? Why did you sleep with my husband? I have a feeling you slept with him on purpose. There's no way you met him by coincidence and fell in love with each other. You planned it all, didn't you? You planned your every move. Of course it was on purpose. I planned to get your husband from the day I overheard you talking about him at the high school reunion. That's when I decided to steal your man again. Why did you have to go and do that? What's your reason? It's not like we spoke to each other after we graduated high school. Why do you still care about me? There's only one reason why I stole your husband. And the reason is that I wanted to see you falling in despair again. What the? What do you mean? I thought you wouldn't show up to the high school reunion, but you did. There you were, talking to your friends, but not to me. You wouldn't even look at me. But looking at you made me think back to when we were in high school. I remembered the look on your face when you found out about me and your boyfriend. So you wanted to see that look again. And that's why you decided to steal my husband this time? That's exactly it. It's so boring being an adult, having to go to work every day and do stuff you don't want to do. I was really in need of something fun to do, and you helped me remember how much fun it was to see your soul crushed. That's a terrible reason for you to do a terrible thing. You really haven't changed at all since high school. Hey, how does it feel? Please tell me. 
How does it feel to have someone you love be taken away from you by your old friend? Oh, please tell me how you feel. Do you feel like your life was ruined again? Um, what? Why do I have to tell you that? <laughs> this is so much fun! You probably never thought that I'd steal your man again. You didn't think I'd show up in your life again and ruin it all for you, did you? Actually, I knew about it already. That's why I'm not in shock. Huh? What do you mean you knew about it? Are you done telling me about what you wanted to tell me? If you are, I'm done talking to you. I'm going to go. Goodbye. Hey, wait up! Don't go yet! What's with that reaction? How can you stay so cool and calm? Act more surprised! No, I get to react however I want. What do you mean you knew about it, though? I planned all this so I could see you be in shock and in despair again. Why aren't you in shock and in despair? Why? You really knew that your husband was cheating with me this whole time? I knew about him cheating this whole time. And I also knew that he was cheating with you. No way! I did my best so you wouldn't find out so soon. You might be good at hiding and keeping secrets, but Andrew is not. I guess that was not part of your calculation. He doesn't know how to act normal and pretend that nothing is going on when something really is. When did you first find out about us? When was it? Mm, let's see, uh, maybe about half a year ago. I completely knew that he was cheating on me. No way! You did? How'd you find out about it? It was about a month after the high school reunion. That was when you approached him and started seeing each other, isn't it? How did you find out that's who he was cheating on you with? Not long after that, he started coming back home late and he was very suspicious. I could tell he was cheating on me. So I decided to find out who he was cheating with by seeing where he goes after work and I saw him with you. Then that means you let us cheat on you for half a year? Yeah, I guess that's what I ended up doing. I don't get it. I don't get you at all. How can you just ignore the fact that we were cheating on you during this whole time? Why aren't you doing anything about it? You could have messaged me in fury. Why'd you just pretend like you knew nothing about us? This isn't fun at all. Why aren't you falling into despair? Well, I didn't want Andrew to know that I knew it the whole time. Because I wanted to get everything I could take from him. If he knew that I was letting you two cheat on me, then he probably wouldn't have given me as much money when we got divorced. Plus, the more evidence I had about you two having an affair, the more money I can get from you when I sue you. I didn't even have to hire a detective because I already know your phone number and all about you. I had to invest very little for a high return. This is the best way anyone could get divorced. Why would I get mad and let you two know that I knew about it all along? It would just ruin the chance to get what I deserved. What? You're ruining it for me. I'm not having fun at all. You got smarter since high school. Thanks to you two, I'm leaving this marriage with a lot more than I had this time last year. Andrew didn't know that you and I knew each other all the way back from high school. So when I asked him about his girlfriend, he was all mumbling about wanting to protect your privacy or something. But when I pressed him, he offered to give me an 80% split in the assets to get me off his back. <laughs> and we had a lot in our savings, so I get to keep $200,000, plus 80% of the money we got from selling our house. Two... $200,000? You got to keep that much? Yeah, it's already safely deposited in my personal account. The savings were mostly money that he made, but he was so generous in giving it to me. Andrew is so in love with you, he rushed to get the divorce papers done and basically gave me anything I wanted. What? Your divorce is already official! I thought you were still in the process of getting divorced. I don't plan on marrying him. I just wanted to see the surprise on your face turning into the look of despair! Well, that's none of your concern. Though he seemed to be so happy to be moving in with you and living together starting today. Uh, what? Did he really say that? If you don't mind a used dress, you can have mine. You should get married. He's so happy to be with you. He makes good money, too. I'm sure he can make you happy, too. Really? He makes that much money? I didn't know that. Huh? I thought you knew about that already. 
I thought that was part of the reason why you stole him away from me. Well, I thought that was the main reason you wanted him, but was I wrong? Uh, I just wanted to steal him away from you, but not to keep him. All I wanted is to see you react the way you reacted when I stole your boyfriend back in high school. But is it really true that he makes good money? Yeah, I'm not lying, so I hope you two stay together and happy with each other after this. I really mean it. I wish you two well. This is great news. I didn't know he was so rich. I wasn't planning on getting married to him at all, but I guess I wouldn't mind as long as he's rich. My plan to make you fall into despair failed, but at least I succeeded on getting a rich man. I can quit my boring job if I marry him. <laughs> Yay, I'm so excited now. Good for you, but there's one more thing you should know about him. He makes a lot of money, but he also has debt that goes more than double of his income. What? He has huge debt. He's really into gambling and keeps losing, so he's got huge debt. I didn't know what to do with his gambling problem. I tried to get him out of it, but I couldn't. But you helped me get out of this marriage, so thanks. Wish you luck. Bye! Hey Maria, what the hell? I never knew that you and Ellie are friends. We were, only back in high school. We haven't been friends since we graduated. Now she's just someone I used to know. That's not what I mean. I mean you knew all this and you pretended like you didn't know this whole time. You even know her contacts and where she lives. You know where she works too. Well yeah, she was my friend back then and we have common acquaintances, so it's easy to find out what she does. If I want to know more about her, I can just go visit her parents or ask people that I went to high school with. Then give me back the money I gave you. I gave you all that money because I felt bad I couldn't tell you anything about my girlfriend, even though you wanted to know. But you already knew all about her. What was the point of giving you more than you deserved? I wanted you to tell me more about her, but you wouldn't tell. I never said I didn't know anything about her. I just wanted to hear from you. So, I didn't deceive you or anything. I'm not giving you the money back. Don't mess with me. Give me back the money. Why are you so angry? You're the one who betrayed me by cheating on me with someone I knew from high school. Aren't you happy being with her? You were the one who wanted the divorce and all I did was agree to it. Stop worrying about the money you gave me and focus on living a happy life with your new partner. What happy life? She left our apartment last night and won't even answer my calls. She won't even read my messages. What happened? She ran away from you? She somehow found out that I'm in debt. She told me she's not going to marry a poor man and just left. I went to her place, but she called the cops on me. There's no way to reach her. What am I supposed to do? You didn't tell her about the debt and she heard it from someone else. Why were you keeping it a secret? I wasn't keeping a secret. I was gonna tell her when the time was right. I was gonna tell her before we got married, for sure. I really wanted to make her happy since I failed doing so with you. I was gonna stop gambling for her and focus on just making money to get out of debt. It was my plan to tell her all this last night, but she ran away before I could. I wanted to make her feel safe and secure by letting her know that I'll take care of the debt before we get married. I see. I guess she found out about the debt at a bad time. But now I can't even reach her. She keeps ignoring my messages and she's avoiding me in any way she can. I really was going to quit gambling and get out of debt within a year. Do you want to meet her even just for a little bit? What? You know where she is? It's what I heard from one of my friends from high school, but I know which bar she goes to whenever something bad happens. Do you really think she'll be at that bar? Yeah, whenever things didn't go well in university, or she had a fight with her family or her boyfriend. She always went to this bar to drink all night long. Alright, sounds like it's worth checking out this place. Yeah, go ahead and try find her there. You might really be able to meet her, even if it's just for a little bit. It was you, wasn't it? You were the one who told him about the bar that I usually go to. What's going on? It was the one place where I could hide away from him, and you told him? Andrew found me at the bar. I was trying to escape from him, but you let him know where I was? He then took me to the apartment we were supposed to live together in, and made me sign a marriage certificate. 
So you were at the bar after all. You really don't change, do you? I heard that was your hideout place since university. Good to know it hasn't changed since then. Just like how you haven't changed when it comes to stealing men from me. Stop messing with me! Now I can't run away from him because of you. He already submitted the marriage certificate! Oh, poor you. Is it so bad to get married to the man you wanted so bad that you stole him away from me? If you don't want him so much, then you could just get divorced right away. He also made me sign a prenup, which says that I'll have to pay $50,000 if we get divorced. I'll be in debt if we get divorced! Wow, he really doesn't want you to be running away from him again. I never thought something like this would ever happen. All I wanted to do is to surprise you again like in high school. Why do I have to go through all this? That was not my plan. Well, this was my plan, though. What? You planned for this to happen? I'm glad I went to that high school reunion. I was hoping to find you there. I didn't think it would go this well. What are you saying? I don't get it. I was really getting sick and tired of Andrew's gambling problems. I was thinking about getting a divorce, but I didn't think he'd let me go that easily if I told him it was because of his gambling. So, I decided to get him to fall in love with someone mad enough to want a divorce. And I thought, might as well get more money out of the divorce. What? No way, are you serious? When I got the invitation to the high school reunion, I remembered you and what you were like. How you stole my boyfriend back in high school. When I asked around about you at the reunion, they told me that you still steal other people's boyfriends. So I hoped you'd steal my husband too. What the? You used me? I figured if you found out that I was married, then you'd start hitting on my husband without me having to do anything. That's why I kept avoiding you at the reunion. I figured that'd make you even more interested in what's going on with me. Stop messing with me! I'm not gonna let you control me anymore! I'm controlling you. Don't make me laugh. You did this on your own. All I did was talk about my husband and it made you want to steal him away from me. I didn't even have to ask you to do it. It's all you're doing. But you planned for me to steal your husband and make me end up with a man full of debt. Well, that part, yes. It went so well, even I'm surprised. So how does it feel? Please tell me. How does it feel to be a dancing puppet on strings? you did this to me thanks for stealing my husband i hope you live happily ever after with him ellie can't bring herself to get a divorce because of the prenup she signed she gave up and consoled herself with the thought that he makes a lot of money and the hope that he's capable of paying off the debt she decided to believe in him to change however even though Andrew thought about changing and stopping gambling altogether for Ali, nothing changed. Instead of coming close to paying off the debt, his debt just keeps on increasing day by day. Now Ellie has to work multiple jobs to help Andrew pay off his debt. 